Right. What you're saying is, yes. it seems to me, that Jesus fulfilled 60 prophecies, but not the way that prophecies were actually said in context, but the way that he wanted to apply them to himself. Now, we believe that Satan, or Satan, is... Was like, he Lucifer for Jews? Was he a morning so star? We don't, so we don't have a concept of Lucifer. I'm not entirely sure what Lucifer even is. His name was Rabbi, not Yeshua. Rabbi, Rabbi. That does not work. You can't... His, he his name was his not name Yeshua. I don't believe yes. that either. I believe that we simply do not know what his Hebrew name was because the Greek what? is very flawed. Can Good. you do anything so, pleasing so, so to God question. within our sinful, fallen state? Ah, so we don't really believe that sinfulness is a state. We believe that it's only an act. So it doesn't mean that he didn't know what evil was. Yeah, the it knowledge of good and evil it definitely that he means the knowledge it, of good and evil. Not according to us. Not according to us. Oh, you love an argument, you love. Go on, go for it. <laughs> yeah. This guy was a cynic. Was he an eyewitness? He was a critic. I said, Let's see. Let's have a look, shall we? I've been waiting for one hour. For as work. much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration. He's very articulate, but that's good language. All at once, freedom of speech, mate. Read it all at once, don't confuse the people. There you go, Pastor. Let's see where you're going. What's that? Very tactical. Ah, uh, this, this is a bug. Boris Johnson's going to be listening to this, isn't he? Please. Set forth an order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us. Now, a lot of people, they believe... No, freedom of speech, mate. Sure. Okay, so... The next line is critical. He doesn't want to read it. I, I, the, I, next, I, the next line is where he says... Where he says, Give us a couple of seconds, man. I'm getting there. Getting there. Right. Some people believe to believe or not believe. That is the question. What do you believe? You're risking your whole life on who you trust. He trusts in Muhammad. He's dead. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who came back from the dead. He fulfilled 60 separate prophecies. No, 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 no. I'm now I'm I'm getting it ready for the big finale, which you which you why are you wearing a mask anyway? I thought you trusted in God. God gives you oxygen. What are you doing a mask on? Every time you change the subject, it's a white flag. Right? It seemed good to me, also, having had perfect understanding yes. of all things. Yes. From the very first, on, very reading. first of what? No, keep reading, don't No, 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 I'm just going to read, because you say no, read, no, we need the context. No, That's not. why you're an airhead, because you don't read the context. Perfect understanding of all things from the very first. Now, why would he have perfect, why would he, why would he have perfect understanding? To write unto you in order, most excellent Theophilus. Yes, carry on. Carry so he's on. writing a letter to a guy called Theo, right? Theophilus. It's called context. He doesn't like context. He likes putting things out of context. So this is the, this is the important thing. That you might know the certainty of those things wherein you have been instructed. So you can be certain about the fact that that is a camera and that is not a gun, that is a camera. Look at the evidence. Look at the evidence for Jesus being the Messiah. I'm gambling my whole life now on whether he is the true Messiah of Israel. He is the Messiah. He fulfilled 60 prophecies, didn't he? He's a liar. If you say... Ah, <laughs> no, he didn't. There you go. There you go. Now, it's good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Now, here's the thing. Now, if a Jew gets hold of this book, they would say, hang on, this is written by all, all these people are Jewish. Every single writer is Jewish. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the whole lot. Shaul, Shaul, Paul, Paul, Shaul, not Paul. You can't even read from Luke. Pa the, the Jews. Not all Jews were in Israel. He, he was, Shaul was the, from the tribe of Benjamin. From Benjamin. He was a true Jew. He was, no, 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 no. He was not at, he was not it's not apple juice, orange juice, he was a real Jew. Okay? That's only what Luke says, but Paul never mentions it. Right, Luke was Jewish as well. There's the evidence says Luke. Oh, Luke was Jewish. You, you need to go on the true evidence. Now, the true evidence is the Messiah had to die. The Messiah had to give his life, sacrifice his life on the cross and rise from the dead. And guess what he did? He had to be born in Bethlehem. Why was he born in Bethlehem? Because in Micah 5, 2, chapter 5, verse 2, it says, Out of you, Bethlehem, shall come a ruler of Israel, whose days are from everlasting. Who has come from everlasting to be born in Bethlehem? Yes, it does. Let's hear. Let's hear. Why in all other places where the phrase Mimei Olam, which in Micah 5, 2, or in Jewish yeah, yeah, Bibles yeah. 1, um, the, uh, the King's 
translates Keep there changing, yeah. as everlasting. But in all other places, like for example, Micah 714 um, and Emo, Amos, I can't remember what the judgment verse in Amos, um, and various places in Jeremiah as well, it translates it, just as the Jewish Bibles do, from days of old or from ancient days. Why is it only in this particular case, where it would help your case for it to mean everlasting, does it mean everlasting? Right, you've got to go back to the original, Hebrew. accurate Hebrew. Yes. You go back, to, not the, the traditional rabbi, orthodox Hebrew. We've got to go back to the accurate, real Hebrew. You and you've got to see it in context. Are you, got, are you a Protestant? No, I'm not a Catholic or Protestant. I'm a Bible. I'm the Tanakh, Torah, uh, Brit Hadashah, so the whole Bible believing, believe in real in believer in the one true God and the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Do Yeshua. You, do you believe I believe in Yeshua. Do you believe in Sola Scriptura? No, well, that, that, that was made up by someone subsequent ah, to the Bible. Do you, yeah. do you believe in the Apocrypha? Uh, I believe it's a real book, but I, do I believe that it's inspired of God? No, I don't. Okay. Now, why do you not believe in the Apocrypha? Why? Why not? Because. Uh, it's because it's not part. Agreed on a canon. It's not part of the agreed canon in the first century post um, oh, yes, post Messiah. No, 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 no. They, 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 they don't quote the, the, the apocrypha. Oh, really? It's not it's not accepted. No, that's not the part of the. The Epistle of Jude quotes from Enoch and the Testament of Moses, which are both accepted as part of the canon by the Ethiopic Church. Yeah, the, the Ethiopic yeah, Church. They're se not the original Second, Pe Second Peter. Second Peter also quotes from Enoch. Enoch is quoted by quite a few books. Judith is also quoted, I believe, in... Uh, Jude. In, in Jude quoted. Jude quotes the Apocrypha. Right. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, and that's accepted okay. by you Do as you know part what? of your Paul, canon. No, no. Paul, he quotes um, the Epicureans and Stoics. It doesn't mean to say that they're inspired of God. He says, as you're, you know, in him we live and breathe and have our being. He's not saying this is inspired of God. So when that they quote the Apocrypha, well, this is my argument. No, so uh, when they, you, when, when he mentioned, he did not, he did not say that the Apocrypha is the word of God. He may have quoted from it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's good evidence. There's good historical evidence. The Apocrypha is, is accurate, but it's not part of the canon of scripture. But the main thing is the Messiah fulfilled 60 separate prophecies. You you can't do no, six, let alone six. What he did. He, didn't he was one. born in Bethlehem. He, he, not, he lived in Nazareth. That's not a category. That's not a category. That, there's no verse that says that. And Isaiah 11 1 does not prove your point. Neither does number 613. And neither does Judges 13 well, 5. I believe it does. No, it doesn't. I believe it does. Uh, have you ever read the context of these chapters? Have you ever read what the Hebrew actually says? Probably not. Okay. Now, so a lot of these, um, not all of them, but some of these prophecies of the Messiah, what he has done, he's pulled them out of their context and he's applied them to himself. I would freely admit that that is absolutely right. But God can do that. He's allowed to do that. The Gospel of Matthew. You know, if you take things in context, he's talking about Israel, it's talking about what's happening in the immediate time. Yes. But also, the Messiah can apply certain scriptures about himself, which is not immediately the uh, obvious uh, at the time so, so and that's what he does so let me get this straight but you don't you're like you let me get this straight mm. let me clarify with you to make sure i'm not misrepresenting what you say like yeah. you misrepresented what i said a few about uh, two minutes ago about the apocrypha right what you're saying is yes. it seems to me that jesus fulfilled 60 prophecies but not the way the prophecies were actually said in context but the way that he wanted to apply them to himself no, so no. does that not make your argument fall flat on its face no 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 no, because um, it, they were fulfilled in their context. They were. I mean, when it talks about the Antichrist, there were, there were many Antichrist types. Where but the, the final that? Antichrist, I mean, and Antiochus hey, Epiphanes. Why are you talking to Antiochus Epiphanes. I don't understand. You've you got a mask on. I don't understand. <laughs> so Antiochus Epiphanes. Huh? He killed Jesus, didn't he? Jesus is Jewish, man. What are you talking about? Jewish, so, well, well. No, the Jews who wrote the Bible. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, that is what Not Paul accuses of, uh, uh, us of he in, in, in First, no, no, in no, first no, Thessalonians no. chapter 2. No, he says the in Jews, 1 Thessalonians the, chapter 2. The, 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 of the synagogue of Satan is very different to the yeah, regular no, synagogue of the people in That's the book of Revelation. I'm talking about the, the first regular Jews who went to the synagogue and they believed in in Hashem, they believed in Yeshua, in the Messiah, in the Mashiach. That's what they believed in. There's Jews and there's Jews. There's apple juice, orange juice, mango juice, and then you've got the juice. You know, if you're a real Jew, you will believe in the Messiah. Me? Huh? I'm just standing No, no, you! <laughs> no, you! You see, they're very confused. I haven't read the book. I've read the Quran. I know what it's all about. I've read the whole book. I've read the whole book. Jesus! What, what are you? Are you a scratch record? Who kills you? We answered that. You, we answered that. Your ears aren't covered. You should use them a bit. I mean, everything else is covered. But anyway, I don't know what you're afraid of. But God has given us fresh air. Why put a mask on? 
Why put them? You know, you carbon dioxide. You breathe in your own carbon dioxide. People want to wear a mask. Let them. It's it's their freedom to wear a mask. Exactly. It and, shouldn't be mandated free... on us, but that's yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 so we right. shouldn't make fun of people who wear masks. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems a bit bizarre that he says he believes in God. Well, it's more of a balaclava, isn't it? It's not a mask. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So right, you're so gambling your I'm whole on. life. It's very useful no. for burglaries. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So uh, you're gambling your whole life on the on the on the evidence that you think there is that Yeshua is not the Messiah. Now I'm gambling my whole life on the one true God, Shema uh, Yisrael Yehovah Eloheinu Yehovah Chad. I believe that there's one true God, and and that the Messiah has come and he's fulfilled 60 separate prophecies. Now he's coming again to judge. You believe in the prophecies that this Messiah is going to come and he's going to redeem Israel physically and he's going to sort everything out totally. Yes, he will. But first of all, he had to come and he had to deal with the biggest problem that we all have. And it's the problem of the heart. The heart of the problem is the problem of the heart. And that is sin. So he had to take the punishment for sin. And Isaiah 53, 6 clearly says, we all like sheep have gone astray, but the Lord has laid on him, not her, Israel, on him, the iniquity of us all. Let me respond yeah. on that. Let me respond on that. Yeah, yeah. You talk about fulfillment prophecies. You say he's fulfilled 60 prophecies. Separate prophecies. Uh, 60 yeah. separate prophecies. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever seen a fulfillment prophecy of how it's used in the Hebrew Bible? So, for example, yeah. take Joshua chapter 6, verse 26, yeah. where he prophesies that whoever builds Jericho, he will lay his, the foundations with his firstborn son, yeah. and, uh, you, you know. Yeah. And then when you get to 1 Kings chapter 4, 15, was it 14? 15 verse, I can't remember the verse. Um, and it gets fulfilled, physically uh, right. gets fulfilled. And, and, it, and it says, yeah. right, uh, and the exact uh, the exact wording I can't remember, but um, but it says that Chiel from Bethel, yep. um, who he he, uh, he he rebuilt Jericho, yep. and um, uh, right, and he uh, uh, and and he laid his foundations with his firstborn yep. son. I think his name was Segov, and something else about his other son, so right? And it, uh, right, and, and it and it says that this was a fulfillment of what of what the pro of what the prophecy yeah, of Joshua yeah, yeah, was. Yeah, exactly, now, yeah. now now now. When you can, uh, and there are other ones as well about the prophecy about Josiah and how that was fulfilled, right? The, prophe uh, right? the point I'm trying to make is yeah. that the way we as Jews look at fulfillment prophecies, yes. okay, actual prophecies being fulfilled, is that, is, that, is that you have a prophecy yes. which is made in a specific context, yeah. and then you have the actual fulfillment of that prophecy. Yes. Yes. When you say, when, when, in order to prove your point that Jesus is the Messiah, yeah that he's fulfilled prophecies, you're not saying that he's fulfilled prophecies in the literal sense. Daniel no, you're 9. not. Daniel 9, the he did... Years, the that, of years, that's the not... Time he will ride on a donkey into Jerusalem. That's not the chronology. The that's not how it works. That is how it works. How many kings of Persia Jews, were there? Even Orthodox how many kings of Persia? That is exactly how it works. No, that's not a, how it works. Who's teaching that's not... you in your synagogue? You're, you're learning... What are you? Uh, have you... What, what have type you, of Orthodox are you? What do you mean? What type of Orthodox? There are different types. I'm I'm a from Yekish Jew. That's what I am. Yekish. Yekish. It means I'm of uh, German descent. Okay. Right. All right. So you have different teachings within the Ju Judaistic um, organization, kind of thing. The you the the, you the interpretation of Daniel so chapter to... nine by rabbis is very very clear, and it is that uh, that look. Not when you by all rabbis, when that's for sure. When you, yes, rabbi but, Yeshua... Uh, he's not a rabbi. He was not a rabbi. He was not a rabbi. He was not by a any rabbi. stretch why of the art. Why did Yeshua, why did people call him His name was rabbi, not Yeshua. Rabbi, rabbi. That does not work. You can't... His, he his name was his not name Yeshua. I don't believe yes. that either. I believe that we simply do not know what his Hebrew name was because the Greek what? is very flawed. Okay, I've spoken to all, in Israel. I lived there for two years and I spoke to some Orthodox Jews. And his name is not Yeshua, his name is Yeshu. That means may his name be cursed. No, 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 no. No, his it's an acronym. It's not actually what it means. Yeshua Hamashiach. He Honestly, was the Messiah, what utter the, the, the Savior, God's salvation, and he is Adonai. He is the Lord. He's not God. Why and he's not they the keep Messiah. Him Lord? Why do you keep changing the topic? I'm not I'm sticking to the you Bible. Are. Yeah, no. I'm sticking to you're the sticking, Messianic you're sti prophecies no. that you're avoiding. No, because what like I'm saying. Plague. Okay, start with yeah, the Messiah who we all anticipate to come, like the Jew and anticipate David, David or something. They have David. Now he's David. a descendant of David. And the, the Christian David. Got, uh, David. Uh, Jesus and the Muslim got uh, Mahdi. 
are, are they all one or just all different therapies? There is the one true God. There's the one true Creator. Yeah. Now, when, when uh, Yeshua, when he was when he was surrounded by Sadducees and Pharisees, you know, the Orthodox of the day, he said Sadducees to them, he turned orthodox. on they them. Were the and he said, of the day. What do you think of the Messiah? What do you think of the Messiah? <laughs> Whose son is he? And they said, Well, what? He's he's Ben David. He's the son of David. And then he said to them, Why then? Does David, Daoud, why, then, why does da David say, he says, in when he's inspired by the Spirit of God, this is, this is what Yeshua said, why does he say, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Now, do you know You've what they said? You've made a capital L on the second Lord for no reason, like the KJV. He's Lord, his son and Lord. That's what thou, David said, okay? So he is the son and his Lord. Do you know what they said to him? He's lying to you. They didn't even say that. They were afraid. He's they lying to you. See, they shut they their mouths. To be fair, they might have said that. It wasn't regular. <laughs> If that wasn't very good. But He's they, lying they, about they, Psalm 110. They did not ask him any more questions. Why? Because he was going by the Tanakh, which he doesn't. He goes by 30, maybe 20% Bible. The rest is the Talmud. Jesus said, don't follow the traditions of man. Get back to the Bible. This is why you're so confused. I am not you need confused. You to get back to the Torah, the Tanakh. I think the person who is confused here is the person who constantly changes topic and refuses I to back up what he says. to what the question was. No. In answer to your question, no. And you, and you lied to him about Psalm 110, verse 1. Sorry? You lied to him about Psalm 110, verse 1. I lied? Yes, you lied. This is a sin. You lied. Tell me my what? sin of lying about Psalm 110 written by David. Melech you, David. You claim. You claim. The of God was in him. You claim. No, you did not quote him accurately. You quoted what the KJV says. Tell me accurately what did Melech David say in Psalm 110? He said, he, he said, God, an utterance of God to my master. It does not say the Lord spoke to the Lord. He does. It does not in say that. Hebrew, it says, it, the first word is Ado followed by the syllable Noi, and the second time it says Adoni. No, Adoni, which means my master, and it never once refers to God in the entire. In the, uh, no, it's not. In the in the there's no vowels in the Dead Sea Scrolls. How can it be different? That's no, but we're not talking about. Isaiah, we're talking about Psalms 110. We're, 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 that's so you're that's in not. You need to be in I'm not being in, de in denial. I'm not being in denial. I'm I'm not in denial. Moses was in denial. I'm here. My head is in the Tanakh and the. Talmud. Your head okay, is in the New this. Testament. This, you don't this. care about what this actually says. Okay, this is in the. You're Torah. trying to escape the point. Exodus, so, yeah, okay. Just Deuteronomy. like you always do, Your the Christian book, jump. Be reading. What does it say? The Lord, that is Yehovah, you're too afraid to say it, but you, you're allowed to. No, we're not. Yehovah is, a, is an ish, is a man of war. Hang on, can God come down to the planet and stay, stay in heaven this at the same time? This is a metaphor. Everyone, uh, uh, okay, first of all, God is omnipresent. Everyone knows that. Anyone Indeed. who knows anything about theology Indeed. knows that God is omnipresent. Indeed, is. So, of course, God could be both on heaven and on earth at the same time. So but omnipotent, the, though, And omnipotent, so of course. Is, however, is where the uh, ha, is. Yeah. however, what I'm saying, uh, however, there's no no one actually reads the song of the sea Shira Sayom in Exodus chapter 15 as uh, as as literal as literal himself? descriptions okay, why does he associate himself then as a man of war what, ah, who, who, I'll tell you why I'll the, tell you why because be man? because but yes Where, the because Messiah because uh, can I answer one question at a time Sorry. before you switch topics <laughs> okay, you switch from God being a man to the Messiah being okay, a man well, I mean honestly the rabbis explain, okay, this is, Jew I'm explaining to you Jewish theology now, you can take it or leave it, but I'm explaining to you what we actually believe. And that is that the Torah, the Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh, speaks Veloshen Bnei Adam, in the language of men. What does that mean? It means that it all anthropomorphizes God in ways that humans can understand. Because God is beyond human comprehension, right? Everything about God is beyond human comprehension. And therefore we well, have to, and therefore, the and therefore, and therefore, you can't understand, and and you can't understand him, but can not you? fully. I wish you were more like Bob, because he doesn't interrupt. Wow, that's not often said. I'm just going to throw it out there. Oh. <laughs> no, more like. Well, can I just ask, God, God also says I am not a man that I should lie. So, um, you could just, I mean, that's no, from, from, yeah. Okay, so, the, like, I understand it's analogous, um, and that we can't understand it, but if God chooses that language to evoke some, uh, 
picturesque or some symbolic reference to himself, then we must take that on board, surely. We must take it on board, but we can't take it literally. We need to realise that he's not saying, I am a man of war. He's saying that what I am can only be understood from the human perspective of a man of war. I've got a question for you. Okay, okay, right, understand so that. Because right, because he also describes himself Messiah? as many other things. Messiah's yeah, those things be a man. as well, but in terms of the specific wait, wait. action he's doing at that I point. I uh, 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 not of war, but of something. He could have Free referenced pass. himself Free in the dark. Because, God, because of Let's war is also something which is physical. This is a tangent. Okay. No, it's not. Well, it is, because we need to find out who's the Messiah. It's not a tangent. The topic, it's an interesting. We've dealt with that one. You've been going on tangents from the very beginning. I wanted to talk about Fulfillment prophecies, and you went unto uh, you, you went unto uh, okay. unto the cop. Too long now. He went unto. Okay. Who right. is the is the Messiah going to be a man? Where is he going to come from? The Messiah is going to be a man. There are going to be two messiahs. One two of the, messiahs. Yeah, two messiahs. See, but th th this shows how much you know about Jewish theology. Well, I do quite a lot. There's I mean, going to be two messiahs. I studied under one, Jewish proper Jewish teachers who understand the Bible, really? not, not the Talmud. Really? In Israel for two years. Carry really, on. like Paul did. Sure. Um, Shaul. Anyway, so, anyway. Shaul. That's that's the original. Tarsus, the place of Hellenists. I highly doubt. He, uh, one of the I of highly the doubt. Yeah, so from from Tarsus. So anyway, uh, the there's going to be two messiahs. Well, there's going to be two. There's going to be two. Well, there's there's going to be two. There's going to be two. There's going to be two. Two, right two, two. Right. So, um, okay, sorry. What's your name? Kay. Kay. So, so, uh, so Kay asks a question, and I'm going to try to answer her because David doesn't seem to care. So, Jews believe that there's going to be two messiahs, and uh, one is going to be a direct descendant of Joseph, the son of Jacob, right, from his son Ephraim, um, and the other is going to be the descendant of the Davidic line through David and Solomon. Um, who is going to be Moshiach ben David, and they have different functions. The Moshiach ben Yosef, the descendant of Joseph, is going to be kind of like a military leader, and is going to pave the way for the for, for, for the actual for, 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 the, for, for the redemption, which is going to be brought by the Moshiach ben David, the descendant of David, who is going to be the king uh, uh, once the redemption has, has happened. So, with this specific genealogy, can it not be attributed to one Messiah? Like, is there a chance that? Through the maternal line, there would be the seed of David, and through the paternal, no. from how come? No, it doesn't work because because when we say from Joseph, we mean from the tribe. Of, when we say from Ephraim, from Joseph, we mean from the tribe of Ephraim, and it, and when we say. Um, from David, we mean of the Davidic line, the dynasty, right? Now, 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 now in Numbers, it's very clear that tribal lineage, um, have a look in the first few chapters of the book of Numbers, you'll see that the, uh, right, that, uh, I mean, we, we, we go through the, we, in the synagogue, we go through the Pentateuch every year, so we, we end up having to, to read Numbers every year. So, 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 oh, right. so, so, so the first few chapters of Numbers there, it's very clear that Tribal lineage is only paternal, and the way that we saw the, um, the the dynasty of the kings go down was very clear that it was supposed to be a paternal um, thing. Therefore, the uh, accidental. Yes. So now, therefore, it must now, be two. Does it explicitly say this? Because I know now uh, Jewish law is that it's matrilineal so, because of the ethnic so, so, so this is the. So that's actually quite interesting because. Um, because from just reading the Pentateuch, it certainly seems as if tribal lineage and lineage of the nation of Israel are both patrilineal. It seems like the Pentateuch. But when you go to the book of Ezra, chapter 10, verses 2 and 3, we find something fascinating, which is that, that Ezra told the people to get rid, to, 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 uh, to, to divorce and get rid of their, their Gentile wives. And that's in verse 2. Right? And in verse 3, they got rid of their Gentile wives and the children that were born to them. Now, why would they send away the children if the children were also Israelites? It must be that the children were not Israelites. Why? Because the maternal dialect. Right. So we see that we see from here um, that, that, that that matrilineal descent is important for your national identity. If you're part of the nation of Israel, if you're a Jew, that does not contradict the fact that. 
my lineage goes by the father. And our both a bloodline. Way you see me, I'm coming back. In what way? In the respect of I think oh, David's mother was a Moab, and also when uh, most the destruction, I think, of the Amicalites, when he says, and keep for yourselves those unmarried uh, ladies, I believe that's in order so that the tribe is for sure wiped out because these ladies can't be pregnant and therefore they can't continue their tribe. So they wouldn't be able to continue the, that line if if um, the maternal contribution to a birth, do you see what I mean? Like if the maternal line, okay, so if they were told to get rid of your wives and your children, it denotes to me um, some pollution via the um, extra tribal, like the outside of the tribe. They're saying we want to keep a pure lineage and therefore the mothers and the children are like mongrels or I don't know what you want to call it, like uh, mixed blood. But when um, when the Amicalites are destroyed, they don't have to destroy all of them. They can keep chased, uh, not chased, formally chased unmarried ladies, not because of um, what the Muslims would have, but because I believe that God just wants the destruction of the Amicalites and those women can't continue the line. Um, so if they can't continue the line, what does it matter if... Um, that means the wife's uh, contribution is kind of nullified even by Moses. Like he's saying, it doesn't matter if we bring these ladies in and take them as wives, it won't dilute our... Are you talking about when Saul... Yes. Right, Second Samuel, in first Samuel, chapter... I remember learning school. 3, 15, 15? It's either 15 or 16. Yeah, that's again. So that's an example of matrilineal over there, being discounted. Interesting, over there, Saul did save the... Did, did save the women but Samuel told him up for all of this yeah. this was not what God actually wanted he wanted all of them to be killed yeah. now with regards to Ruth um, with regards to Ruth so that's actually quite interesting because a lot of people don't realize that there's such a thing as conversion to the nation of Israel to become a Jew because of the instructions to the Israelites as to how to treat those yeah. who come in yeah and he is Lord as well so, so at least according to Jewish tradition, Ruth was a convert, okay. and that's why Boaz was allowed to marry her, and therefore her son Obed was a Jew. And David's uh, mother being uh, David's mother's Moab, uh, half Moab. Yeah. So, so David's mother's not mentioned in the Bible. Somebody's mother. I may have got yeah, that wrong. Yeah, that's Obed's mother. Obed's mother, Ruth. Right. is Boaz's wife, right. Right. you have the Book of Ruth, or as we call it, the Skull of Ruth, um, who, um, uh, she was from Moab and she was a convert right. into, into Israel. Um, so she, she accepted it, and in fact a lot of the laws that we have in what we call the Oral Law um, of conversion, um, um, we, 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 we see hints to it, we don't derive it from it, we believe it's so before that, but we see hints to how, how conversion is supposed to work from how Ruth's conversion is described in Ruth. So that would tie into your statement about nationality not being equivocable with uh, the actual bloodline kind of thing but um, once you're adopted in or once you're taken in then the bloodline is no longer relevant in God's eyes because you are now a part of Israel so then again if the uh, literal bloodline can be not superseded but like discounted in God's eyes as in newcomers uh, being um, accepted in then what what does it matter if the mother is not not on the side? Just, if you're taking it just from one instance, so, so what was, so because I would so back to the two messiahs. Specific exceptions. Right? Back to the two messiahs. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Um, so we have the general law. We have certain exceptions, and unless we have an exception which is specified, it's not an exception, right? Unless something is specified, then, then, then it's just a potential argument. Now we have the exception of this idea. Of, a, of, 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 the, of going down via through the descendants of Israel, um, we have an exception by way of converts, right? But interesting about converts is they do not belong to a tribe, and but and because of that, a convert does not belong to any of the twelve tribes, but they are still as a whole, exactly. They still belong to Israel. They are part of the nation, but they're not part of any tribe. Why? Because the nation is not really about 
on the plants. The tribe is about, is about the little one. Right. Yes. 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 But the tribes are not. Uh, 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 the tribes are about the lineage. The tribe is specifically about lineage. So and that's what. That, and that's why converts do not get an official machal um, and an inheritance in the in the land of Israel. I was nodding before I even knew what you were talking about. Just to say polite. I thought you may have been clearing your throat. Right. So it's, it's, so we call it the nachalot. Um, it's, it's described near the end of Numbers, the laws to do with that, and it's um, described in great details how this was given out in Joshua, um, from chapter 12 till, I think, 22. So I've got a follow-up question. So my understanding, I've got um, I've got some people who are very close to me who work with a, mess a messianic uh, Jew organization. I'm not asking you to not raise your eyebrows at that point, um, but they are doing it out of love. My question is, I, on my very limited, like I'm a polemicist of Islam rather than, uh, obviously, Judaism, I believe you have the, the true God and the true book and the, everything like that. But I thought that Jesus, part of his rejection was based on the fact that he didn't come as the first Messiah that you described, the one with the sword and the it, genealogy aside. He did come as a, a, um, a, like as in a revolutionary with a sword and to come and free the Jews from the oppression that they were suffering under the Romans. I thought that apart from scriptural evidence, because he was prophesied as coming um, in a mighty way, as it were, and I thought that was part of the rejection. So if that's the case, um, if there are two messiahs, then that would kind of counter that, because to be honest, I'd never heard of that, or I'd never read it into it. A lot of people have never heard of it. Yeah. And um, if you stay tuned, next week, I'm going to be having a debate with Paperboy about this Yay! very, about this I very a, subject. I have a spare three hours. <laughs> we're, going be, we're going to be having a debate. Two, two Cummings versus two Messiahs. It's going to be, oh, nice. it's going to be great. All right. So just let me ask this without doing any spoiler alerts. Can Christ not fulfil the role of the second Messiah better if there's a precluding, like a, um, a warm-up guy, as it were, a, a first Messiah who's going to come and lay the groundwork with a sword for the Prince of Peace and the Mighty? Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not sure. Can you rephrase that? Yeah. You have two messiahs. One is going to lay the groundwork violently in a warlike fashion, and the second one is going to usher in some kind of peace, I imagine, or oversee um, some harmony. A new era. Yes, that will do. A new, a new world order. I hate that. But the thing is, <laughs> if, yes, are loving it. if the first, <laughs> if, if, if the Jews, I mean, has the first one already arrived? No. Neither of them. Okay, so great. If, if though, you then consider what Christ wasn't a violent man, apart from a couple of tables, you know, whatever, being turned over and uh, some strong words to the Pharisees. If the case is that he was rejected somewhat on the basis of not being an overthrower of the Romans or a, a revolutionary in that manner, and the first Messiah would have, even though you say he hasn't appeared yet, if someone can be attributed with that, wouldn't Christ be easier to accept based on his bringing peace and love as the second Messiah is supposed to do? No, because of specific things that we believe about about the sequence of events genius. about these two sides. It the sequence of events. Is the second one the Davidic the one? The second, the second one is the Davidic one. So Mary was the seed of David. And so was Joseph, but, actually. Well, Jesus was not... According to Christians, Jesus was not the son of Joseph. Of course not. And... and I mean, God trumps, Mary, God trumps and, uh, David. And, I'm just gonna, and Mary... Yeah. And uh, Mary was the mother, and therefore the patrilineal descent if there is, isn't there. If you but can, but, 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 let me uh, just put it this to you: if if you were to accept that there is a miraculous virgin birth, if because God is omnipotent, then the only seed that would be in play would be through the mother's line or through the grand maternal grandfather. You can say this is his grand. Do you see what I mean? Like that. Anyway, your question. So your so your question about. The first so, right, part one so, part right, right. so that would mean that there would be more than a two, uh, over 2,000 years gap between the two. And Is Jewish theology in that, So in Jewish theology, we believe that it's going to be a, a very quick process of about seven years in total. So you're going to say a very quick 700 years because no, you are patient people. It's going to be a seven year period, maximum. It could be shorter. Like the, and it's based on verses, but I'm not going to say them because 
it's a bit of a spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, but I would advise you to have a look. One of the Christian proof texts from Zachariah is something that we base this on. It's one of the things we base this on. So have a look off the camera, you can feed me a couple of verses to yeah. go and do some homework. Yeah. Right, right, so are you are you happy to wrap it up then? Or is there anything is there anything you want to know about what Christians think um, other than like what is yeah, sure. I, I would I would like to know actually. Um, I'd like to know a bit more about the Christian perception of Satan. Okay, so Satan, as in uh, Genesis, we believe that's fully Satan, the serpent. Uh, we believe that he's an angel of the Lord as Lucifer rather than as Satan. Uh, we believe that in Job, he has access to heaven, even though he's been uh, cursed by God. We know that he was walking in heaven. We know that God uh, lowered himself to speak with him, like to take his question about Job. Uh, we believe that this world is under his dominion with the sovereignty of the Lord, like nobody does anything without God's acquiescence, but not, not approval, but without his uh, authority, as it were, his ultimate authority. But yes, Satan is the god of this system, with a small g, uh, we're told in the Bible. What else do we know? We know that he is uh, the dragon at the end of days who Babylon will ride upon. Um, he doesn't, it's, the devil made me do it, it's not quite accurate, because Christians believe that the heart is deceitfully wicked above all else and who can know it says the Lord and he, there's nothing he doesn't know he's saying I know it stop mucking around um, so he, Satan I, me personally without like doctrine to back me up I would say that Satan would like it if we disbelieved in his existence because then we wouldn't be solely blaming ourselves when it's our nature, due to the curse of God, to be fair, that we are innately sinful. And without the Holy Spirit, Christians believe, we have no recourse to peace, patience, kindness, mercy, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness. So those are the fruits of the Holy Spirit, who's obviously in the Old Testament too. What else? We believe that Christ alone um, is the only mediator between us and God, although Catholics also throw Mary under that bus somehow. But I'm not a Catholic. Uh, we believe that the uh, spotless lamb that God promised in Exodus or Deuteronomy is Christ, that the um, the Passover in Egypt is a foreshadowing of his perfect blood. And Satan, yeah, we believe that the even that in the garden, the curse of stamping on your head and biting at the heel, that is Christ, at the seed that uh, God references of the woman is Christ. So through the first Adam, sin entered, second Adam, boom, Bob's your uncle, and Satan is opposed to all of that. So do you believe that Satan is actually in rebellion against God? Yes. So he's not on a mission from God, he's actually in rebellion against God. No, I don't believe that God gave him, I believe that God, uh, he fell from grace of his own uh, will. Ah. Yeah, I don't think that. So, do Jews believe that God created evil as in part of the overall plan? Yes. Okay, and what? What's, I know this is a bit of a facetious question, but does God give any clues as to why He would do that? Yes. As part of um, the curse? No, not as part of the curse. Because the but serpent is already there. Of, um, because we believe that part of the purpose of the world and humankind is that. And this is a very philosophical point, and I don't fully understand it, but this is basically how it goes. Um, God is good, whatever that means. Um, he alone is good. Right, right. God is goodness, good, right. personified, well, deified. What, whatever that means. Yep. Okay, I don't know what it means, but it means whatever. It's beyond morally that. perfect. That's one of the definitions e of good e in e the e Even that is difficult. But, well, he sets the standard regardless, for perfection, yeah. Regardless, so he is good, and... It's Part of being good is that you do good to others. Yes. But you can't do good to others if there's no others. That's, we believe in a triunity. So. And the Holy Spirit is also Wait, in the... Wait, so, hold on. Uh, just before I finish that, um, we're definitely going to circle back to He's never alone. That yeah, he's never I, alone. I've, def I've definitely got to circle back to that when I finish this point. Triangle like, back that, to it, if yeah, you will. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Joking. With that, yeah. That's not really what triangulating is, but no, I'm no, definitely going to come back No, no, I meant triune your way back. Right. That, anyway, so yeah, you so, can hone so, in on it. Right, Triangle. So, 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 so you can't do good to others if there's no others there. Yes. Right. And um, and an and therefore God created man in order to do good to him. However, right. Uh, right so, so he's going to give about so, for, for man to worship him. Can I, can I just finish yep, on sure. um, In order to in order to do good to man. Yep. Now. If he's just now, he could have made us as just this uh, as just this thing where he just pumps you full of pleasure and stuff. 
like but, a Muslim in but, Jannah. But, but, that's not, but that's not very worthwhile yeah. because everyone knows if you... If you um, if 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 your if your parent buys you a phone, right? So you don't appreciate it much. Yeah, right? you it's didn't not earn it. right. But if you work hard and then, as a reward, you get a phone, right? Or you're able to spend the money and get the phone for yourself. So then you're much more appreciative of what you have. Much and it's it's a much better good. It's more Can good. Can you do anything so, pleasing so, so to God? That is a good question. And I'll be asking it on Judgment Day. <laughs> I'll be double checking. Can, can, can you do it? So the question with in our sinful, fallen state. Ah, so we don't really believe that sinfulness is a state. We believe that it's only an act. So Jewish baby, theology and Christian theology so, okay, about what so sin is is completely different. In your a lot account, of people don't know that. In your Very account of the garden, wait, I, I, you I don't, don't have any. I'm, sorry, I didn't finish the thing. Sorry. So, so, so therefore, God gave us certain. Um, so th th therefore, in order for us to be able to earn the rewards that he's going to give us, therefore we have to do work. But if we only have a choice of good and we don't know evil, we don't have a choice between good and bad, then, no then therefore there's no, th 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 there's no choice. And therefore God gave a choice. Now originally, this is Jew what Jewish theology teaches, um, uh, originally the test was something which was external, outside of man, and that was what the snake was doing. Okay? Adam had one, one task, one commandment um, at that point, um, to not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the test was something which was external to him. It wasn't an inner battle, it was an outer battle, because the snake was a physical thing. And we believe it was an actual it wasn't snake. Much of a battle, to be fair, um, as well. <laughs> although, I mean, there, there are different opinions amongst the rabbis as to whether or not the entire story is simply a metaphor, or whether or not it's actually literal. I, think I, it, it I strongly is, believe. I strongly believe it's literal. Yeah, but too. there are other opinions. Like, uh, it seems to me that Maimonides is, is of the opinion that it's a metaphor. Um, but even that's not very clear. Um, but I, I'm, I'm definitely somebody who believes that it's literal. Um, it, yeah, I'll um, talk about that. Uh, I, I, I personally follow that school of thought that yeah. it's that it's literal. So we don't believe that the snake was Satan. We believe that the snake is a snake and it's there that can in talk, all, uh, and can with talk legs. and has legs. And that then, so and, and, uh, and that as a punishment, his legs were chopped off and he had to slither Crawl on the on ground. Right yeah. now he would have to bite at the heel of, of, of man and the, and the woman who he so desired, which yeah. is why he started off by talking to her. I don't see any snakes at my heel at the moment, so I don't think it's just mankind. So yeah, so, 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 th that's a different argument yeah. about whether or not that's a prediction about a messianic yeah. figure or not. Yeah. I know that. But well, what God says happens. Uh, so. But yeah, so yeah. it's okay. That's a different Metaphor, topic. Right? That's really a different topic. Yeah. So anyway, so 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 that was the original test. Originally, the way we, that we were going to earn the reward was the by what was was just by following this one commandment and and not succumbing to the temptation that was outside of us, which was what the snake no, was tempting to us to do. To oh, right? I see. The, right. the, the God sent this this snake to tempt us. So now, God, it was like in Job again. Basically, they made a deal to well, afflict well, well, Job and. Well, no, it was no it's not very different because there you have affliction, uh, suffering. Here you have a test. No, but I'm saying they were in cahoots. Satan had the acquiescence, explicit acquiescence of God to go and tempt Adam and Eve. No, so, no, so, so we're saying that we don't believe that the snake was Satan. But evil was present to tempt them so, away so I'm, from I'm coming to Satan. Right okay. now we're at the... No, but I'm right, asking, so, why did the serpent, just a mere animal, why did... Why was he more crafty than the other animals? Like that, why? I do not know. But that did I God have a, a word question. with him and like you're saying I, God sent this that, test? That, that was that. Yeah, the God you sent this test. just mean by influence, like just. Yeah, that was like in the programming, I suppose. Um, okay. I'm gonna now, watch out for those those snakes. Now, now the the now once Adam and Eve ate from the tree, the knowledge the. the Knowledge of good and evil now became within them. So now what does that mean? According to Jewish theology, what this is now, that instead of being an external battle, and the, the, the snake being outside and trying to tempt us, now that now we have the inner battle instead, between what we call the Yetzirah Hatov and the Yetzirah Hora. Well, the it's good inclination fair. and the evil inclination. Now it's fairer because they didn't know the repercussions of sin because they had no knowledge of evil before they so, failed. Well, it, so it was a false test. So it, not really. Do you know because, what I mean? They because didn't know any sinners. They didn't know any sin. It's complicated. It, 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 according to Jewish theology, they knew what the repercussions would be, Prior but they thought, the but they thought that it was actually worth it. 
How they, could they know if they uh, had yet to have the knowledge of good so, and evil? Okay, so or is it a different th- This group? is a very interesting um, thing um, that the rabbinic commentaries report. talk about, <laughs> which is that um, which is that Adam and Eve, um, Adam wanted to increase his service to God. Okay, um, is it pretty th- arrogant th- th- as well? He was th- already th- perfect. Th- 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 this, this is a this is a very interesting and deep point. So Adam Harry wanted Ad- Adam Did wanted to um, Ad- Adam wanted to serve God in a better way and show God even more devotion. So what did he do? He he made a calculation, and this was a wrong calculation, and this is where he sinned. He said, "God is prior to knowing evil." Right. So it doesn't mean that he didn't know what evil was. Yeah, the it knowledge of good and evil definitely he means the knowledge of good and evil. Not according to us. Not according to us. Oh, you love an argument, you lot. Go on, go for it. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we, we, yeah, we do, we do. I don't mean you personally. No, I mean, right, you could me. go around and... I, I like, me too. I didn't. <laughs> and that may be my heritage. So, yeah. Um, right, so go for it. So, boss, boss, so before, before, you, before you answer to that point, battery change. Ah, oh, right. Good battery change. Right, we're rolling again. So, action, Satan. Satan. Not you, Satan. Right. Right, so what, what was I? You oh, yeah. were at. So, they sinned before oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they knew right, the evil. Right. Right. So I was explaining that they they didn't have they didn't have a temptation inside them to, 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 to do evil, right? But they knew that what this was was something they were not supposed to do yes. because God had told them not to do it. Yes. Now. Adam's calculation, this is according to the rabbis, Adam's calculation was as follows. It was that I want to increase my devotion to God and I want to do even more to earn. Right? Because he feared right? you. Because he was but, disappointing you. No, because Adam wanted to show his love for God in an even better way. The problem was that Adam made a miscalculation. His miscalculation was as follows. I want to serve God in the best way possible. But, at the moment, the only way I can serve God is by not eating from the fruit, right? That's an external it's challenge. Negative but, as if, well, yeah. but if challenges were inside of me, and it was a constant battle inside of me, then you lost me the, at this point. if there was a constant battle between good and evil inside of me, then I'd be able to serve God even more. Excellent. Because can it would I ask be a far more interject? difficult challenge. Right. You know, legally, uh, children, for example, are not held liable for, uh, not sin, sorry, crimes, beca- and some mentally impaired or mentally ill people, because even though they know it's bad, uh, they don't necessarily know the ramifications of their actions in a mature fashion. So they know that by punching someone that it's naughty, but they don't know they might injure them indefinitely or, or manslaughter charges, maybe, something like that. So the courts are happy, not happy, but they will say this person is not fit to stand trial for this because they cannot have mature knowledge of the ramifications. So I, if I was not Jehovah's Witness, if I was Adam's witness, as it were, I would say for one, we'd shifted blame from Eve over there back to the guy. And also, ha- even if he was aware that you're not supposed to do it, he had no other experience of any any of creation going against God's word and God. Yeah, so how can he be held accountable? Because because the Bible says, I don't know if it's your bit or our bit, says that before the law, sin was present, but no one is held accountable for it because, you know, for Christians, the Holy Spirit convicts us, but for Jews, the law, before the law came, there was sin, but no one will be held accountable because God had yet to give the rules. Obviously, this one commandment with Adam is slightly so, different. So we do believe that there were already laws before the Sinai Covenant, Natural um, the, laws the seven Noahide laws. Right. Um, but that, that's a different topic. Yep. I'll get to okay, so back maybe to enough. Adam and his, okay. so, his knowledge so, so, of the so, ramifications. Right, so Adam's calculation. So Adam knew that if he were to eat from the apple, okay, he would now have an internal struggle, and if he were to be now, able to, now, now, and if he were to be able to overcome that struggle, it would be an even better service be to hero. God, and it would be yep. even better, right? The plot now. Adam did that. Now, so it was now, Adam's. Now, hang on. So did he convince Eve to give him the apple? So, so Eve made the same calculation. Independently, that, or they yeah, chatted about I, it. That I'm not sure of. That's a good question. Yeah. I will. I, the, I will look up. The New that. Testament that's says that she is the one who sinned, and someone argues yeah, that Adam didn't. Yeah, I know. Didn't. So I don't. It's a bit sexist. But. So I'm not. I'm not sure. That's a very good All question. Right, we can come where back Eve actually week. comes into this. That's yeah. a very good question. I, I don't know the answer. Um, now, the now, what was Adam's sin then? Adam's sin was thinking 
was thinking that he knew better than what God was wanted, right? right? No, it wasn't pride. It wasn't well, he was so proud enough to assume that he was correct and God no. was in error. That uh, God had said, don't do it. And, and, and implicit in that statement is don't do it, no matter what you think the potential benefits are. Don't do it. I'm the law, literally. I'm the sheriff around here. And I'm saying everything else but no. Can I say the sin wasn't, uh, let me just get his, the, I never spoke so, so, the, so the sin wasn't pride, the sin was doing something God, God explicitly said not to do. And that is the ultimate How would you wrap that up in a soundbite? Arrogance? No. Disobedience? Did Willfulness? Did he say don't do it or did he say you would God's, die on the day that you do do it? God said don't eat from that tree and he ate from the tree. Elf. Did he give yeah, out? Uh, 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 yeah, let, let me say something, so regard, let, let me say something regarding this. We know that God commanded him not to eat from it. Yeah. But uh, Adam and Eve was cheated by Shaitan who... They uh, think it's just a lizard who had his legs chopped off and stopped speaking. You know, like he cheated them and he swore to them he said, that, God has they, said that you'll be they will God. be okay. That's in Islam. Be, uh, that, that's that, that, may be true, that may be true in Islamic theology okay. and it may be similar to Christian theology, but it's not Jewish theology. And I'm explaining yeah, Jewish uh, theology uh, right now. In your book, though, does, say, uh, does the serpent rather not say... Um, you can be as God. You will be as God. You'll be. You'll be like God. So he God. gives them a so, ramification so, of the success of the action, as it were. So that that's a part of it and that God I'm has not, prohibited. So that's a part of it that I'm not so clear on. I'm not so clear about that. You've got to ask part. about 800 rabbis and then wait for them all to stop fist fighting and then like they the winner. Fist fight. <laughs> I'm I, no, I'll just read the commentaries on it. It's joking. Um, I do that. Yeah. Is there a commandment? Um, no, one second, one second. Let's get so, so, uh, it's a commandment with a consequence. What's the prohibition? So What's the, the prohibition else? is do not eat from the tree. Less. And the and the consequence is you're gonna die. Excellent. Right? With a now, time frame as this but gentleman he didn't says die. on now, that day. He yeah. was sent so, down from Well from they died heaven. as in the, the grace yeah, kind but, of. But they are so, mort mortal anyway, so how how no, no, can they would have lived for uh, no, 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 because yeah. he was mortal, he was they created to die. But, but you're coming from a Quranic... That, that's Islamic no, no, theology, no, no, it's no, not I'm Jewish not, theology, regardless and it's not Christian. Regardless of Islamic, all mankind... Well, it's not regardless, because we don't bring it in here, but we find an atheist, see what they reckon uh, happens. All mankind, <laughs> all mankind actually created to die. Yeah, but we believe that Eden is on it's Earth. Do we believe that? Of it's not about the or It's debated. It's debated. But, it's but about the Tigris and the Pishon and the yeah. Euphrates, they're definitely so, earthly rivers. Once again, it's debated. I believe it was an Everything's earthly Everything's debated. That's a, a, mute, a moot point even yeah. for um, so, Jews. Yeah. So, so th there, are, there are two opinions on that. Maimonides believes, grace, that, like be earth, believes that it's a spiritual place. I am not convinced either way at this point. I'm on the fence. Okay. I'm on the fence about whether or not it was a physical place or a spiritual place. I think it's both. I think the spirit of the I think the, the Lord walked in the garden, therefore he like his grace abounded, he created it. He created it, therefore it wasn't spiritual because he had just created, God created the earth. spiritual stuff too. Um, he created well, the, the spirit of the created, no, the spirit of the Lord hovered above the deep. So that that spiritual yes. I mean to say it was a physical place because he he took the rib and he took the earth thank and he thank you so, he did those physical these things are, th th these, these are side points which are very very interesting yes. but it's not really yeah. the topic yeah, um, sorry so Satan so back to this the, pesky not Satan sorry the, the serpent so but you're going to get to we're, Satan we're getting to the Satan we're certainly getting everyone to Satan everyone always is That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right so so um, so or was I? Just catch you were, my train uh, of He knew what would happen, even though he had no knowledge right. of sin. He knew that he was going against something yes. and now, was therefore now, liable in a court of law. Now, right? he, now, the reason he was liable is because what, what was, what, even though he didn't know that the struggle would be as bad as it actually is, okay? Thanks, Adam. He knew that the struggle would be bad, but the sin was doing what, against what God said. Yeah. He wants to show his love of God against... So he disobeyed what, in order it, to try and yeah. rescue it at the 11th yeah. hour, as it were, and Basically. become a hero. Yeah. Right. So that was, that was the sin. It's a much more... The way that Jewish theology looks at these, and in fact, the way you, we look at the whole of the book of Genesis, is a lot more deep and a lot more calculated in terms of all the sins than... The way As a I shallow perceive... Christian, I'll have to take your word for that. We, we've never really studied the Bible. No, I'm joking. I, 
you're very, you're very, uh, very courteous. Thank you so much. This is the ninth hour of his existence. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so he obviously so, knew what he was so, doing. So Don't be ridiculous. Hours. So he didn't even eat the fruit yet. He knew. Hours, within nine hours, in the presence of God, he's still in perfection. Him. What help has anyone? Well, we have Jesus. Well, it's not his name, though, is it? It's Yeshua. I don't mind what his name is. I, I care about his blood, to be honest, in a non-vampiric way. Uh, because of the Latin. Uh, I don't mind. The Greek is... He called... Hang on. He, sorry, he called me by name. He called me by name. Yes, That's what I need to know. He did. He's OK. Uh, it says, I've called you by name. Okay. He's talking to the descendants of Jacob, and Christians believe they are adopted into Israel. And actually, my genealogy is also of that... Uh, that little branch there so what God thinks of me is more important than what I think of God and what I choose to call God as well and the Jews also uh, refrain from mentioning his true name so there's precedent well you can pull your faces but there is anyway um, Satan right so or Josh now, as I like right. to cook <laughs> Yeah, right. that's me. I'm the back, synagogue back of Satan. Back to the horned, uh, non, non-serpenty dude. Uh, yes. All right then. So, um, the. I'm so glad the police aren't telling us to move out of the cycle lane. Yeah, they're today. being. Um, they're, they're being, being quite courteous. Well, they're, they're busy. All, uh, all three of them. They're much better than the last time I was here when Tommy came, and they. Were, oh my goodness. That was. Uh, that, it was embarrassing. I, it was the first time I'd ever actually witnessed police brutality. I. I, I, I Where I have you been? I did. I'd never seen it before with my own eyes. I'd heard about it. TV. I did. Yeah, I'd never That's seen it. Actually, you must like, have seen footage of riots and stuff. No, I haven't. Oh, wow, sheltered. I was, yeah, I'm quite and sheltered. And religious upbringing. Yeah. Excellent. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Yeah. I always thought the police were, were, were good there people. There are some decent were... ones, but I think after a while they become inured because it's a thankless task. Their superiors don't really respect them and neither do the public, so it's kind of... I mean, I used to respect the police. I, I respect that. the institution, like the peacekeeping aspect and the upholding the law, but... The minority report thing, the thing of we know you're going to break, like that is a nonsense. Do you know what I mean? I Stay in your homes, I you haven't committed a crime. My eyes. Yeah, no, I believe, it. believe them. And like just, I, yeah. I was shocked. It's the I was standing at quite safe distance because I'm studying law and I don't want to get a criminal record. Yeah, you, you, you I mean, often it's even if you're charged with something, I shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. The fact that doesn't necessarily mean, for one, that you'll go to court, for two, that you'll be prosecuted, and for three, that you'll be found guilty of that. And even so, you can, um, even with a minor criminal record, there's a statute, like after a while it's spent and you don't need to declare it unless it's like DBS yes, worthy. When it comes to being a lawyer, you can't have any criminal record. Yeah, oh, well, I know people in the legal profession, but of not, I'm going yeah, to not law because, uh, because there aren't enough Jewish lawyers. <laughs> yeah, there's enough Jewish laws, I know that much. I'm following in the family business. Well, arguing is literally the, like the whole branch, as it were. But right, so Structured debate. we've done That's the serpent. Do. Adam, he's so now he's got will. Now, will. now after the fact, whatever the sin was, I've tried to explain as much as He'll I could. He'll go with breaking right? the rules. So now he has the internal struggle yes. in him between what we call the good inclination and the evil inclination. Yetzer Tov and Yetzer Hoa. And Satan has nothing to do with it at this stage. Now we believe that Satan or Satan is was like, he Lucifer for Jews? Was he a morning so star? We don't, so we don't have a concept of Lucifer. And I'm not entirely sure what Lucifer even is. Do you have? He's the morning star, the light bringer, I the don't angel. Know what that is he's an angel. Uh, yeah, we believe he's an light. angel. Yeah. So, so, ah, so now he's he, described uh, okay, as a cherubim in some places. So, and then so, a, so we need to. I need to explain the concept of an angel in order to explain the Satan. You really don't. I do. I do. No, I know because about them. Because we no, because we believe. Angels are completely different. From the different Old Testament, what, from, from the book of Daniel, yes, from but, the, but how we understand what angels actually are and what they're supposed to do. You can explain the wheels to, to me. That would be great. Jewish theology about angels is completely different. I don't to, need, um, no, I don't need the theory. Is did God create a separate uh, race of beings to worship Him only and serve Him and glorify Him, like? And sing Hosanna in the highest a lot. He created the angels. the Malachim, which means literally means messengers. Yes, like angels. So some order, of the some of the in, messengers in are order human, but to be representatives of God, which by the like way, intermediaries. Yeah, yeah, like a representation, like power of attorney. Yes, 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 yes. Um, which, by the way, is is how Jews see all the verses where angels are speaking as if they are God and people are talking to them as if it's God. But his name no, is in so, you. So, he yeah, will not forgive so, your transgressions. So, so, so Jewish theology looks at those verses as... As um, not the pre-incarnate Christ, as, as obviously. not actually God, yep. but as 
representatives of God, and because they are representatives they of God, speak therefore in his they, name. they speak as if they, they are see, him. Yep. Right, that's how we see it. Yes. A lot of Christians straw man that. It's very annoying. Uh, was Satan a budding advocate so who Satan, went wrong? No. So Satan is one of the angels. Uh -huh. is one so we agree. Of, yep. And his mission is that he is the evil incarnation in every single human being. He is the evil incarnation. He's very busy. How did the he demons come about? To... Can I ask? Is I there a war in heaven? I don't understand the. the I don't understand about demons. I don't understand about that. I'm not going to talk about it. Is there such a thing in Judaism? There's a thing called a shade, shadim, which is usually translated as demons. I have no idea what they are, and I don't know anything about. They're a kind of. I but there are, I anyway, we won't no get into it. Okay, but I'm it's, saying Satan's it's very busy if he doesn't whole, have help. It's like, part of Kabbalah, the whole esoteric, mystic side of Judaism. I don't understand it. Are there any all. demons referenced in the Old Testament? I'm trying to Not think. that I know of. The New Testament there is because Mary Magdalene. Now was, I do anyway, know because I digress. learned, I learned uh -huh. to just just on this whilst we're on this very yep. quickly. I remember learning in the Talmud in Tractate Megillah um, um, that there. What, that um, there's a verse in Daniel. I think it's in. It's in either. Cha I think it's chapter ten, possibly one of those later chapters after chapter seven, but, but before chapter twelve, and it's not in chapter nine, um, oh, yeah. where it says that Daniel saw a vision, um, and the other people that didn't see it, and with the wheels, they were scared. That one? I don't know. Um, I think it's cherubim, the, and it's a uh, poor translation. Right, I'm and sure. the, uh, I should get out of my tonight yes. and have a look. If your hands aren't too close. Do you want one of my gloves while you're... I brought this one because it's easier to turn the pages. It's easier to trick people as well. You can just read what you like. There's a... I mean, I have one with English as well. No, it's fine. I'll take your word for it. What's the big gap for? Can I just... Is that just the style of writing? Like... Oh, those are the ten sons of Hummel. Right, and are those um, so, censored, so, as it were? No, so traditionally they they are they are written and in the scroll like that because they were hung one on top of the other oh, in a, in, on the tree. Yeah, I've got you. So they're read vertically yeah. rather than no, no, the, it's read horizontally. Ah. And and um, when we get to poem, we when we read this the scroll of Esther, so we read it. Um, we read the ten sons all in one breath. Just showing off at this stage, I think. But any okay, no, so really, that's that's really the custom. That's what we do. Um, Even severe asthmatic know? Jews. <laughs> there must be some claw. I know there is. My, if, my if, mother's asthmatic. There you go. <laughs> so she must be allowed to. Surely. Well, she, she does it. Every, she does it every year. It's really yeah. not difficult. Okay. Um, it is but anyway, um, one second. Okay. I know it's in the Hebrew part of Daniel near the end. So, so it could be seven it, it, to it, twelve, it, but not ten. Right. So it's not in chapter seven. The Hebrew starts here because that's all Aramaic. I see. So and I know it's in Hebrew because I remember. Oh, I think I'm being phoned. You are. Do you want me to? Oh, it's my the other half of Jews at the corner. Okay. Hello. Right. Okay, I've covered the, up the, the mic. The other, the other Jew who covered the debate. The taller boy. With yeah, you. With the ginger. Yeah. I was trying not to be prejudiced. Well, oh, that, my hair he, he calls him that as well. No, okay, <laughs> he calls no, it sorry. Bit, um, the ginger Jew. Please, God, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, synagogue of Satan plus no soul. I mean, mad stuff. It's outrageous prejudice. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, all, all you need is the New Testament and the Quran for prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, every idle word on the Judgment Day. Let's anyway, get to it. Anyway, just banter, you know. Just banter. I've got Jesus I'm, speaking I'm, to me. I'm, I'm full of banter. But anyway, me too. Um, so I was reading. Those it. priests of Baal deserve to be mocked. That's what I say. Indeed, right. Oh, could be this actually. Yeah. Um, I found it is chapter ten, chapter ten, verse seven. All right, the battery is still working. I'm guessing, but the mic is the mic on. Yep, everything. So right. It's Daniel chapter ten, verse seven. Uh, it says, "And I, Daniel myself, saw the um, the." vision or the sight um, and the men that were with me they did not see the sight or the vision yep. yeah the sight but a great harada, a great trembling a great um, um, yeah trembling is a good word I suppose um, rumble um, murmur no, because it's like a, a, a fear, I suppose. Oh, um, an individual but, yeah, yeah. But, but fell on them, the other people that he was with. Oh, okay. Um, so they were affected, right. but just not visually. Um, and they and they fled into hiding. 
And I, Good this is now verse eight. eight. <laughs> yeah. And, th and then verse eight, it says, and I, this is Daniel speaking, and I alone remained, and I saw the great sight, the great vision, um, th this great vision, um, and strength, and, and there was no strength that remained within me. Yep. So uh, he was weak the at Hodi, the sight of this. And my splendor um, was turned on me to destruction. So my splendor turned into destruction, and I didn't have, I don't know what that word means, I didn't have strength, something like that. Yeah. Right? So the, the Talmud in Tractate Megillah, um, page 3. Oh, come now. Come now. They can Google it. Yep. Um, or 3B. 3A. Some other search engine. Yeah, 3A. Um, says that over there, what is it? That, what was this thing that caused the people to be, um, to, to, to be scared? If they didn't see the thing, what was making them scared? Yeah. So it says there that this was... A, that this was a, um, a, a demon, basically. This was a shade. That this is what the commentaries explain there, because it says a word that's not very clear, and then the, the commentaries explain this was a shade. This was a demon. Um, that's really all I know about demons. Um, so that's, that's the answer to your. All, but that's not all that Judaism knows. It's just yeah. that you, Judaism has so a lot I was written to about go this. Away and <laughs> and research within it. Within a week or two weeks, because you're going to speak to Paperboy Paper next, next week. week. And then if you're still here the like following week, then I'll I'll hit you with my heavy Judaic demonic yeah. knowledge yeah. that I've obviously been keeping to myself all this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So so that's really all I know about demons. That's the only thing I've ever learned about demons. Right. That so particular should page we wrap up a bit? Because we didn't actually get to Satan, but it's a very complex. Well, we've covered the the precursor to. Everything in Judaism is complex. Well, yeah, we know this. That's why they're banging your door down, Tim, dude. Okay, so wrap up. I'm gonna let uh, Josh like wrap up the weirdly random like um, all yeah, over the place. I mean, we, we, yeah, it, it was kind of all over the place, but we did establish some interesting points. Kay explained to me about Christian theology about Satan, which was very interesting. Um, and uh, I was trying to explain various things about Jewish theology about Satan, but we didn't really get there because there's so many... We got as far as a potential demon. So, yeah, I mean, so, we're on so, the, the road so, with good intentions. So, so there were a lot of, um, a lot of tangents along the way. Um, and we had, had to explain um, the nature of the evil inclination before Adam's sin and how it changed after and what Adam's calculation was, which are all very complicated and deep subjects, but I tried to simplify them. Yep. Um, and um, the, I, I mentioned in passing that the evil inclination, we believe, is Satan. Um, I after the sin. So Satan was present in a perfect being. No, let's no. go. Ah, so yes. afterwards, that Satan is the evil inclination, and that he is an angel, a representative of a god. So this is kind of things I hinted at, but I didn't explain properly, and right. hopefully will explain next time. Definitely. So my uh, take, and the things I may be asking, just as a spoiler alert, is. I believe that the uh, if Satan can be an evil intention in the mind of someone who is perfect in God's sight, or God at least says it is good, that's problematic. If he originated in the mind of man, that's also problematic. Like So yeah, I'll come back to the, the problems as it were, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to the, to the demonology as it were, um, because I for one believe that if we stop, I don't mean Disney or any Hallmark fluffy Tinkerbells, and stuff like that but I think if we stop believing in messengers of God in their celestial angelic like uh, race and hierarchy then we are more apt to disbelieve in Satan and then we are completely lost because it's only a, a short hop and a step before we disbelieve in God as well because then we must attribute all evil to God solely which to a Christian anyway you know there is none good but God so on that bombshell spoiler alert for anyone who's not Christian or Jew um, yeah, watch this space and we will be back with a part two, potentially 2B and 3, 3B and C, because it's quite a big where book. where this takes us. Exactly. Yeah, yeah hopefully not uh, Sheol or anywhere <laughs> too dark, but yeah. yeah. All right, God bless and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.